Welcome. In this module, we're going to talk about the role of the CISO in driving the information security program. And the CISO obviously plays a very important role because the key driver of the entire program is the CISO and the competence, skills, experience, and uh, the abilities of the uh, CISO, people skills, and, and you know, such managerial capabilities are going to be very crucial. Um, the, the person is very important um, in, in, in determining the success of the program. So the CISO plays a crucial role in successfully driving the information security program. Uh, two factors we're going to look at, CISO skills, uh, capabilities, and the placement. Where does the CISO belong? What is the best practice uh, in our market? Uh, what is the international best practice and what should we be doing in our market where we have uh, a poor or a weak security posture? So. I've identified CISO skills in four major areas, technology domain knowledge, leadership and strategy, people skills, and governance domain knowledge. And let's talk about each of those individually. Leadership and strategy, very important. Uh, good understanding of IT, obviously. Uh, you need a lot of experience and information security challenges. So, you, so CISOs or heads of security need to be uh, practical and need, to be, and need to know how tough it is to implement information security. And uh, they also need to know how tough it is to run IT. And they need to be realistic. Uh, they need to have some experience so that they know about the challenges. Um, and uh, the experience of driving critical projects in organizations uh, is very critical and very key. Under leadership and strategy, uh, the ability to build program strategy um, relevant to the type of the organization and the culture of the organization, to build a good structure, a reporting mechanism, which is effective, and execution discipline to really um, achieve the results of the program and to have the, uh, you know, the, um, make sure that the discipline and the execution is very, very strong. Ability to work with board and senior executive management to drive the program. So there's at, at each tier of the organization, there's a different mindset, there's a different seniority level, there's a different culture of uh, the style of working, there's a different attention span, uh, there are different concerns. And the CISO needs to have experience of working at all the different tiers so that you can uh, get along and drive the program successfully at each tier, where there are important stakeholders at each tier. Now, ability to motivate and communicate security vision uh, the vision needs to go down to the team because the team doesn't know what the, what the vision is if you don't communicate it. And the ability to infuse credibility and authenticity and earn the trust and respect of the IT uh, and entire IT team and IT environment. Ability to build teamwork and cooperation culture, and these are all leadership and strategy uh, uh, characteristics. Then you move on to technology domain knowledge. And the CISO or security head usually has five to ten years of experience in IT, a good thorough background in IT. They've usually been a very good network administrator or a system administrator or a database administrator or a manager, IT manager. Followed by, on top of that IT experience, followed by three to five years in information security or more than that. Uh, and CISOs are typically strong in two to three domain areas of IT, uh, right? So there's an IT layer. Uh, they have an information security layer on top of that because they draw on their IT knowledge. And, and uh, they are strong only in two or three domains because IT has so many domains, so they're not good at everything, obviously. And, uh, you know, for example, um, the CISO would be good in networking and infrastructure, two domains, or software and databases, two domains, or software QA and process engineering, two domains, and maybe a third domain, maybe a little bit of that as well. A good CISO, CISO is able to build a good team to cover all the major domain areas and all the functional requirements which are required for the information security program. And there's a lot of uh, skill sets which are required in the overall program. Um, in the technology domain knowledge, um, having a solid te technical base, good CISOs are able to easily build a security competence layer on top of their technical base. So they draw, as I mentioned before, they draw on their technical knowledge. They actually know how those technical controls are implemented. And then when you lay on top of that security controls and security governance, um, they, they have a complete understanding of the entire stack. Governance domain knowledge, uh, working with regulators and compliance, experience, policies and SOP uh, experience, 
frameworks and standards experience, a passion for training and awareness. Uh, those are all governance domain knowledge. And there's a way that you implement governance. And technical people need to learn. And the, that's why the CISO needs to have experience before he takes up, he or she takes up this role of uh, heading the security governance. And then you have a process-oriented mindset to successfully build a strong InfoSec program because governance is all about a process culture. Ability to balance people, process, and technology as well because all three are important. And good people skills. A CISO requires good people management skills as a security transformation project is all about motivating, directing, organizing people to achieve a focused goal. So all, all about working with people. And personal discipline and commitment um, are, are going to be very important. And then you have placement. So this question often comes up, where should you place the CISO? And for, uh, um, you know, you could place the CISO within IT, reporting to the CIO, um, within risk department, which is a parallel department outside of IT, or reporting to the board committee, maybe the audit committee or somewhere. Uh, so in, in our experience of conducting a vast number, and this is my company experience, Delta Tech, which is a, one of the top security consulting companies in Pakistan, our experience has been that in an environment where the security posture is weak and um, is deficient, uh, like in Pakistan, the CISO or security head should sit as the captain of the ship inside the ship, which is inside IT. They should not be outside because uh, if the captain of the ship is going to be outside, how can you fix the ship? Um, you really can't. It's very difficult because there's uh, departmental boundaries which come up. So if risk, if the CISO is in risk, then there's a huge boundary and IT and, and risk is asking IT to implement controls. Very difficult. Much better, much easier to place the CISO and, and ensure the CISO and CIO work together as a team um, under the mandate of the executive leadership. They're working together. They have a partnership. They both have KPIs, and they work as a team to implement the program. That's all that we have for this module. Thank you.